Hey everyone, it's Captain Amazing. I've been hearing a lot of questions asking about account building and what do I build now that the Lightspeed bundles exist? Or I don't want to build something for a year and have someone else be able to just purchase it for $10. Uh, so I wanted to talk about, um, in my opinion, what I think is a safe way to go forward and how to build an account moving forward uh, w now that Lightspeed bundles exist. And yes, we don't know the future of Lightspeed bundles. We don't know um, if they're going to reoccur, uh, what they're, how far they're willing to go, um, what GLs are they willing to uh, drop in a Lightspeed bundle. Uh, but I'm going to say what how I'm going to build my account moving forward and what I think is a safe way to do it. Um, and the first thing I want to say is if you bought the bundles, you need to get the payout. So if you bought the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren bundle, you got the finalizer, you bought the Ray bundles and the Radis bundles, um, or if you just bought the BAM bundles um, or the Starkiller bundles, if you bought those bundles, you need to get the payout. Uh, if you paid that money and you don't collect, um, especially SLKR and Ray, uh, you're not really getting your money's worth. Uh, First Order and Resistance aren't a great team. There's a reason that they aren't, uh, they weren't universally farmed. There's a reason uh, why Ray uh, was the lowest acquired GL before uh, her bundle. And that's because the well, Ray was very isolated and they didn't have uh, any linkage with any other GLs, really, except for uh, JML. Uh, but it's just, they're not, they're an old faction. They're not great. Um, they're functional. They, they have some uses and with, with Zori uh, resistance and uh, you, they're good, but they're not top tier meta except for that Zori team is, is really good. So um, if you don't actually collect on it though, uh, you're not benefiting from that bundle. You're just inflating your GP. So if you buy the bundle, farm SLKR, farm Ray, and please equip the Zetas. I see a lot of people saying, um, you know, they're going to equip four Zetas. Uh, just equip the six. I know we're, we're Zeta poor. Um, we're all struggling for the Zetas. Um, but equip the Zetas. Uh, they're worth it. You put the effort. You put a, a lot of time just to unlock them, build their alt. Uh, don't go in with weak GLs. Equip all your Zetas. But... Moving forward, I would say these four GLs are very solid. Uh, if you decide that you want to farm another GL after you have Ray, after you have SLKR, um, and you just want to build another GL, I would say these, uh, these four GLs are your best bet on getting a payout that's not going to be uh, disenfranchised or uh, lessened by uh, having a light speed bundle. I, I personally think um, if they do start going for another GL, it's probably gonna be C and probably gonna be JML. And that's just a pure guess. They've already kind of dropped a JML-ish bundle, um, but these four are safe to really get, and it's gonna be a while before I think a bundle comes out for JMK or, or any of these. Leia's just got released, uh, Jabba was a year ago, um, and Lord Vader and JMK, they're, they're not gonna drop bundles on them anytime soon in my opinion. Uh, so if you want to go, um, I would say go with those. Uh, I would say uh, there is a lot of great functionality and, and the farming path is really smooth, if you go Jabba into JML into Leia, and if you already bought that Rebel pack, uh, you you already have a good amount of the uh, the necessary characters for JML. Um, so I'll, I'll show you mine. I haven't farmed for JML. I haven't gone specifically for JML. I'm farming for Jabba, but you can see right here, um, I have the the JTR Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. Um, I farmed CLS just because they're a great team. Um, you need these characters. I farmed Obi-Wan Kenobi for uh, Starkiller. And then you have the, the other requirements. So the pack gave you Princess Leia, Biggs, Wedge, um, Hermit Yoda. You need to not, uh, to get Jedi Knight Luke. So uh, if you get 
Jedi Knight Luke, which you need for Jabba, it's going to pretty much take you almost all the way, plus with the um, the the bundle for the the Rebels that we got for free, or for, for $10. So, um, it just leaves me with two characters to farm, Mon Mothma and R2-D2. Uh, so, even if they released another bundle that gave me Mon Mothma, um, it's worth it for me to get that payout sooner just because JML is a powerhouse character in Conquest. So I would highly advise um, Jabba is a great pathway. So if you go Jabba into JML, with Jabba, you get the uh, all that mod currency, which is going to be huge for your account. So I, if I had to say, hey, if you want a GL, um, go Jabba, JML, and then into Leia, because by the time you get those up and running, uh, you should have her shards farmed, and they're very gener generous with them. Um, or if you're building towards Lord Vader or JMK, continue going. They're great GLs. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, all of these are solid pathways. I, If you are nowhere near JML, I specifically wouldn't go for him, because maybe they'll be more generous with the pack soon with him. Um, if you, But... You know, there's uh, these four are, are really solid though. And if you are nowhere near any of the others and you can go after one of these, I would highly advise if you want another JML or another GL after uh, getting SLKR Ray, one of these four would probably be your best bet on what is a safe investment that won't be undercut with another, um, another bundle. All right, and then uh, next are the GL level capital ships. Uh, so s fleet currency every day can give you up to 400 crystals. If you aren't getting that, you're losing out hugely because you're, there are a lot of competitive players out there that are getting uh, first place and up to 24 people a day can get first place in each char or um, you know, and times that by five and you can get the top five, which all are a lot of crystals every day. So if you have, if you bought that SLKR bundle um, and the BAM bundle, you're pretty close to Executor. And it's a safe investment to just go straight from SLKR and Ray and Starkiller into Executor. Build that GL level ship, start earning your fleet income, and that's going to snowball your account. Um, if you didn't buy those packs or uh, if you're not close, or if you just don't want Executor, or if you have Executor, um, the Profundity is links up really well with uh, with Java. It links up really well with JML and with uh, Leia. So if you invest into that farm, then it's going to be really easy. So my pathway currently, I'm going for Java. I'm going to go from Java, JML. Leia into Profundity, just because they all flow really well into each other. If And I think it's a safe farm that's not going to get undercut by the Lightspeed Bundles. As you can see, I, I, I um, well, actually you can't see, but I already have the Executor and the Leviathan at seven stars. So I just have to get that uh, that Profundity to, to get my last GL level ship. So these uh these GL level ships are a safe bet. You're going to get your money's worth if you go for them. Especially if you're free to play, you need to get those crystals. Once you start earning those 400 crystals every day, your account's just going to snowball. So if you're looking for a way to invest into your account that isn't going to feel undermined by lightspeed bundles, hey, unlock those GL level ships. Go for the profundity. Um if you bought the packs, you're you're right there for executor go for Executor, um, or go for Leviathan if you have access to Proving Grounds and Malgus and his ship. Uh, that one's the hardest just because it has two Conquest characters, so you really have to have some some time and depth into your account. And just because you inflated to 4 million, you may not have access to even beating those uh, Proving Grounds. So I would highly advise, hey, um, these are all safe bets. You can go with that. And next we have uh, new Legendary characters. So Grand Inquisitor, the Bo-Katan just launched, 
and uh, Dr. Afra. I would say Dr. Afra is on uh, the lower end because her um, her requirements are accelerated. I just don't foresee them putting Dr. Afra in a bundle. I really don't, not anytime soon. So if you're looking for a smaller, quicker farm, then hey, Grand Inquisitor, bo and Dr. Afra are all really safe bets on more than likely not going to get a light speed bundle anytime soon, especially the Grand Inquisitor and Bo-Katan. Uh, Grand Inquisitor, uh, if you can get his team up to R7, so every Inquisitor except for a second sister, you can leave her at uh, R5, then you can get into a good guild. So that's a great investment. That can give you so much resources if you invest that right now. But uh, Dr. Afra and Bo-Katan, they're just probably fun characters. They're just great characters that are going to help you in GAC, just like Starkiller. Um, they're probably not going to be all that great in other game modes, but if you just want a small farm to enhance your um, Grand Arena, then hey, go for those. But if you're looking for the most bang for your buck, um, that's going to help your overall account, then Grand, Grand Inquisitor is going to do a lot of things to getting you into a great guild, which will give you tons of resources. So, um, what I think will probably happen with these bundles, I think they'll probably release C sometime soon. I could see Gas sometime soon, uh, which comes with Padme, um, which and the C one comes with R two D two, which could lead to um, a JML bundle. So I, I foresee stuff like that coming sometime soon. So Gas, Padme, R two D two, C JML maybe. Um, who, who really knows, but I think they're going to target that really old content first to try to push us uh, more in line of farming these new things, um, which require a lot of Kairos, which push us into the bottlenecks that they're really looking for. Um, so that's what I think. I If you disagree with me, if you think you should ignore these, just let me know in the comments, but I'm interested to see what you guys think. But all in all, that's my the way I'm going to build my account because I think you just can't ignore light speed bundles anymore. You have to plan for them if you want to really climb and be competitive in this game because their value for what you get is incredible. Um, you just have to Zeta smartly, stay away from those luxury Zetas and push forward with your account. All right, thanks everyone for watching uh, and I'll see you next time.